Welcome back to another exciting family week in Ghana. If today is your first time seeing me on this channel, my name is Charles Sentry, I'm a tax consultant, and I'm passionate about farming. So here on this channel, we talk about farming in Ghana. So, um, recently, I don't know whether you guys have noticed, there, there seem to be a lot of maize around. We seem to be in the season of maize. So I decided, that, okay, well, why not? We learn about maize farming, to know the nitty gritty about it, to know how we get the final product that we all consume as maize. Because they always, we always buy maize. There are seasons that they come, that we get maize on the on the on the market. Later it goes, they come. So today I come to learn about maize farming. So for you watching me, who knows nothing about maize, I think this is a video for you to watch. of growing a maize farm so yeah before we get into the video the goal is to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of this month please kindly do me a favor if you enjoy the content or you've not subscribed please subscribe turn on your post notification to get regular updates as and when I drop new videos and please drop a like on the video so YouTube gets to promote the video so please in this video if you are watching right now let's take a few minutes just go to the like button and just like the video if you've already subscribed if you're not subscribed, just subscribe and turn your post notification on so you get a regular update as and when I drop new video. So yeah, join me as we get into the video to speak to Opia to take us through uh, the various studies of maize farming and how you watching me, you as a maize farm can also yield much profits from it and make your returns from it. So yeah, catch us as we get into the video. Oh, you see, I'm, I'm stepping on me. <laughs> okay, okay, so. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so I'm here with Opia. Yeah. Uh, Opia, we are here at the maze farm. I think, I don't know whether the viewers can see the maze that we have here. So, uh, per the stages, like which stage is this? All right, thank you for um, coming here once again. Okay. I know it's true, yeah, like maybe the way people are liking your videos, oh, that's yeah, why yeah, you are yeah. back People here. enjoy yeah. the conversations yeah. I have with Opia. Right. Like, trust me, people enjoy <laughs> Thank you so much. So you are still back in Aikopia Ventures. Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. So actually we are now into maize production. Okay. You know, we all, we all know maize. Yeah, yeah. It, it's part of our local food. So sure. everybody knows about maize. Even if you are in a city, you know something about maize. Exactly. Unlike some people in the city, you know, they know chocolate, but they don't know cocoa. <laughs> You understand? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, for yeah. maize because we consume banku in the house, so everybody knows maize. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. But when it comes to the cultivation of maize, we have various uh, ways of, um, or the various process that uh, the maize, the, the maize plant goes through before it becomes mature okay. for us to get some to consume. Sure. So, as you can see, we have um, the maize seedlings. We have um, about six stages of maize. We have the seedling stage, the growth stage. Um, the tasseling stage, the soaking stage, the tasseling stage, uh, milking stage, and then the dry stage. dry stage. So you know like how many stages? Seven stages. Seven stages. That's nice. You understand? Yeah. So, as I mentioned, so you have, you take, uh, you go through one after the other. So okay. that if someone, even if you don't know anything about me, you can follow these uh, procedures and then also start something. Okay. You get it? Okay. So okay. this time around, we will start with the um, seedling stage. Okay. If I mention seedling stage, this is the seedling stage. Um, from planting, you know, after it germinates, then yeah. it, it, we call it a seedling, a seedling stage. Okay. So if you if you can check, we have two acres of maize here, and then we know that for every four thousand meter square gives uh, give us an acre. Okay. Of so maize. with the planting distance that we use, we use seventy by twenty centimeters. Seventy by twenty. So we have seventy centimeters here, and then twenty centimeters interval. Okay. Yeah, between plants. Okay. Yes. The reason is that you know, you know, a normal way of our traditional way of farming, people think that when you plant maize, when you put um, three seeds in a hole, that's when you're going to get maize in abundance, or when you're going to get enough maize. Okay. But when you plant maize, one, one in a hole, one per hole, this is going to give you maximum like yields. Than when you plant it. Than when you plant it, three, four, five. 
Is there, is there a reason? Yeah, that? there is a reason. Okay. Now, you know, if you plant uh, two seeds together, there is going to be a competition in uh, nutrient uh, requirement. Okay. Like each each root requires um, nutrient in, uh, at a, a certain amount. You see, but when they are two, they compete each oh, other. Sure, uh -huh. sure. So if you put it at one stand, you know, at every 15 centimeters, you know, uh, the, the root of the maize travel 15 centimeters. So yeah. between row, it travel from here to this side, uh, like 10 centimeters, you see. At every 10 centimeters, there should be a space before the uh, another 10. So another, at least the roots can be yes. able to grow. So the, the roots doesn't meet. Like they are in parallel. You see, they doesn't meet. So they all get nutrients at a certain level. You see, they don't compete for nutrients. Okay. So when they are growing, they all grow together. Yeah. Unlike if they plant it, let's say, three, four. You see that some will be growing uh, uh, stunted and others will be growing up. You understand? Uh, meaning the, the one that will be uh, that will, the, the one that will have like more strength now that's what will we'll grow survive, faster yeah, yeah. Uh, the that, that, that can even delay the growth of yes, the entire thing yes so in every one acre you have to get 28,571 plants that's only using, using 70 the 70 by 20, 20 centimeters okay. you see you have to get 28,571 so if let's say you are an investor and I'm telling you that, okay, let's go into an acre of maize. You know, being on the farm, you should know the number of plants you're having on and the field. Based on the and the number the of uh, uh, corns that you are going to harvest. If you are planting uh, 28,571, you should know that we are still going to harvest. Each uh, plant is going to give us one year. Okay. Meaning we are going to, we are going to get 28,571, uh, let me say, maize. You see, on the field. Per how many? An acre or how? Per an acre. You see. So you can do that calculation to know the amount you are going to get from from an acre. Okay. okay. Ah, so wait, so supposing the maize grows and matures. Yeah. How many the year you are talking about? One. It's one it's one per, per tree. Oh okay. It's one per tree. So you're able to calculate the number of uh, the plant population. And then the planting, if you get, if you know your planting distance and then your plant, uh, your area, you see, plant population, uh, like not plant population, your area uh, divided by uh, planting distance will that give you use. plant population. Okay. okay. You see, so 4,000 meters square divided by uh, 0.14 meters, a uh, 0.14 meters will give you 28,571, meaning that's the plant population on the, uh, on an acre. On an acre of farm. You get it. And like supposing you have to sell, how much? Do you so sell it? with the current price, current price, they are selling five years for five, uh, seven years for five cities. So if you if you divide twenty eight thousand five hundred seventy one by seven, by you seven then you multiply five. by five. You know you guys, the amount. You guys, you guys should do that, man. It's crazy much <laughs> you are doing here, please. Please, it's crazy much you are doing. Here. You know the amount you are going to get from the fresh maize. Yeah. So all the time, I normally um, convince my investors and then. Uh, clients that it's better to go into uh, fresh maize production than um, the dry maize okay, because okay, at a point in time the dry maize you can harvest like five bags and they are selling a bag for 100 cities you see but that's that time, the, dry one. the dry one even though now maize is very expensive but it is not expensive than the fresh maize Okay. You get it. Okay. So if you're an investor and you want to go into agri business, so you advise anyone that I advise the, dry, the, 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 the fresh maize. Okay. okay. You understand? Yeah. Okay. So at the at the um, seedling stage, we leave it to grow to a certain stage before when it gets to the growth stage, then we start applying like the weed, weed control measures we have. Mm. We do or we take all those measures. Okay. So, so how how please have a question? How when you put us uh, the seed into the soil yeah how long does it take for it there to fruit like no the it doesn't flower, fruit the flower to show like <laughs> how long does it take to germinate <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it takes four days to germinate okay it takes four days to get now one thing is that if you don't take care and then maybe your soil is not good you don't test your soil you may think the soil the maize is not good so due to that we do treatments we treat our seeds before we plant okay. we treat it with fungicide with fungicide so we, we, we add the fungicide to the maize before we do the planting. Mm. And after every 30 minutes, you have to wash your hand. Because you know the seed is viable. You see, the okay. seed also breathes like we human beings. Yeah. So the more salt 
you know, with human, the, the little you sweat, there, there will be some uh, form of salt. You know, if it tastes, yeah. It, yeah. yeah so it's when it gets to the, um, the 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 node of the seed, you see that it can even kill it. So okay, when you so put it in the soil, it cannot even germinate. Salt. Yes. Okay. So every thirty minutes, when planting, we wash our hands before we continue planting. Okay. But a lot of farmers doesn't know it about this it. way. But see, they may think that yeah, giving you free the seeds are not good. Please, please, <laughs> just like this video for me. <laughs> just take a minute, just like this video. Yeah. Please. Mm -hmm. Please. And subscribe. Subscription is just like a normal everyday anthem. Subscribe for more content. And just drop a like and like this video. Yeah. So at least you get to, YouTube gets to promote it to other people. Also watch and enjoy and get to learn something from this video. Yeah. Okay, you can continue. So it seems um at the seedling stage, it doesn't encounter a lot of diseases. But if you don't treat the seeds and then you plant, you, you may encounter necrosis. Okay. Necrosis is the death of plant tissue. So you will see that, as you see this one, we have a typical example here. They are all growing together, but you can see that the leaves are dying. Some Meaning the... the tissue, the plant tissue has died already in the soil. You see, uh... it has already died. So it's not going to do well. Yeah, so if yeah. you don't treat it with fungicide, you see that it will not survive. It will not survive. Yeah, looking at the soil, what soil type would you suggest is the best for growing maize? Well, with, with a soil type, you can grow maize in a uh, different type of soil. But when you get sandy loam, that's the best, yeah, that's the best soil for planting uh, uh, maize. Because, it, you know, sandy loam contains um, 5.0 to 7.0 um, pH, pH level. Salt level is very... Uh, so it's neutral. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think Anika. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the this is all what I can say about the seedling stage. Mm. Yes. So from this stage, where where's the stage? We move, we move to the growth stage. To the growth stage. Yes. So that one. Okay, you just let's let's go to the. So growth we can stage. move to the the growth stage where the the plant has grown to a certain level. Come to the. Uh, growth stage of the maize. Yeah. So as you can see, this is different from the previous one we initially had a look at. Yeah. So up here, yeah. So kindly take us through. Okay. So this is the second stage of the maize. Okay. So this is the time that all the necessary maintenance must be done. Yes, before it moves to the, the the next stage. And this is the stage that pests and diseases can even at attack your your plants. Like you need to apply your starter, the uh, NPK fertilizer yeah. and all. So if you can see, we've applied NPK, uh, NPK fifteen fifteen. Ah, the starter. white white. Yes, okay. that's the fer uh, fertilizer, NPK fertilizer. We've applied it. Mm. So, and at this stage, there's a stage uh, pest can even uh, infest like on on the plant. So if you can see, there are armyworms. You can see armyworm infestation. Okay. So. Oh. You know they consume the whole yeah, thing? Yeah, this is it. You see, they've consumed it. You see, they've destroyed a lot of the plants. You see. Uh, so if care is not taken, you see that you, you, your, your, your yield will reduce instead of you getting, you see. The, what you would actually yes. need. Yes. So you pray that through So this, what best way can you avoid this? Um, so what, what we do is we use neem extract. Okay. Neem extract and then uh, liquid soap to treat soap. yeah to treat the neem uh, the uh, armyworms and it's helping it's helping so and it's not the moment when you see that maybe there has been an infestation that you you have to apply insecticide you have to wait for a while you see you have to wait for a while if you see that they are becoming more then you apply okay. uh, because we are going into organic farming uh, we plan of doing organic farming. By this time around, we applied NPK, so it's no more organic. organic. Yeah. Uh, so this is the growth stage. The growth stage uh, starts at, at where the leaves becomes uh, five to six, uh, seven leaves. On so, the, okay. On a plant, you see. So if you count, you see that we have between five to seven two, leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six. You see. So that is the growth stage. At, at the knee level, that's when you can be doing all your uh, weeding, spraying of insecticide and then the heavy side, mm. you see. Uh -huh. So, 
This is the ghost stage of the plants. Yeah, so yeah. Let, ask, let me ask this. So with the maize, I know there are varieties, right? Yeah, we have varieties of maize. Okay, so I like, can you take us? Oh, the... we have the, uh, the, the flint and then we have the dent. These are the two major types of um, maize, maize that varieties have. that we have. But under the flint, we have different varieties. And okay. under the dent too, we have different... So the broad ones are yes, the flint and the... the flint and then the dent. Okay. Yes. Okay. They normally use the uh, fiber uh, content to differentiate. Between them. So which one so contains more fiber? The dent contains a lot of uh, fiber. So they are normally used to feed poultry and then uh, livestock. Okay. <laughs> but the dent, uh, the flint is used for human consumption. Um, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Sure. That's nice. <coughs> So we normally, if we are selling to market women, we normally grow the uh, flint corn. Yeah. So that one is like consumed by the Yes, the and it's uh, mostly it's yellow corn. We call it yellow corn. Oh. Yellow corn. So yeah. the brothelized name is the <laughs> flint. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, that's nice. So um, so I guess, so from this stage then, which other stage again? The, from this stage then we move we, we move to the uh, tasseling stage. The tasseling? Yeah. Okay. We move to the tasseling so how long does one also take before it goes to the tasseling stage? Oh, it, it takes one month. So yeah, it takes Yeah, it takes one month. Okay, left for it. So in the that, like for me itself, how what is the good stage for it? Well, it takes one twenty days to reach uh, the milky stage. That's the maturity. Yeah, kind. the maturity. Oh, okay. One twenty days. So if you want it to dry, then it has to take extra, extra thirty days, making one fifty days. Then the life cycle ended, like it ends. So like five months. It's not five months. Yeah, five months. Five is that months, five months? Yeah. yeah. Maize. Yes. Okay. But since we are into business, we plant maize three times in a year. Okay. So instead of five months, we have this maize between three to four months. And now, will that, will that fully matured before you have? Yeah, it? because we are harvesting fresh maize. You don't. Just, we, okay, uh, that don't go an extra month. Yes. For you okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. It makes sense. It makes yeah. sense. Okay. But look, some people also plant. Let's say they have a cassava farm. And they plant maize in between. Yeah. Is it advisable? Why, why did it well, do you know, a lot of people prefer to do uh, intercropping. Okay, yeah, so in, that's called intercropping. Intercropping. You know, intercropping also affects um, the growth system in other way around. For example, if you are planting the same uh, susceptible crops, yeah. meaning if, let's say, you are planting rice and maize, you see, they are all from the same family. So, they are going to compete each other. Oh, so uh, uh, for if you don't know, stuff. if you don't know much about intercropping, and then you do, you intercrop, um, let's say maize, and then uh, a plant of the same family. You see that you not get the yield you want. Yeah. And me, I normally advise farmers that it's better you get specific land, even if it's one acre, and then you divide it into half half, and then you plant, you do um, single crop. It's better than intercropping. Okay, so you advise people should do the single crop the single down, crop down, one. yeah, monocropping than uh, intercropping, yeah. Because I know I, I saw a cassava farm where normally before so cassava, due to the duration, they plant maize in between. Yeah, you can still do it. Yeah, it, it, you can still do it. Just that you have to know the time of planting. You see, meaning your maize has to get to a certain point before you can intercrop cassava within. Okay. Uh, because when the maize start to start off. The, the, you see as it, uh, the male flower uh, is opening up, it will be dropping on the floor. So mm -hmm. when it falls on the cassava, it cannot even bend the cassava. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So you have to <clears throat> make sure that it doesn't it pass through that process before you do your intercropping. Yeah. I understand, I understand, I understand. So yeah, from this stage, I'm going to the... The tasseling stage. The tasseling stage. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, join us as you get into the uh, conversation. If you've read this point, please like the video. Subscribe if you haven't and like again. The like is very important, so please mm -hmm. like. Alright, so let's get into the other part of the video. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's not it's not it's not well grown. You see, even though it had the milk you can you can take it, but it's not well grown. Mm. Oh yeah, so this okay. Yeah, so this is the cooked one and then this is the ah, so this is not well grown, right? No, it's not well grown, no, like it's but it's at the milking stage. Okay. Yeah, it's at the milking stage. So you can consume it. Oh, then no problem. Yeah, you can consume. So it. yeah, so this is the this is the uh, vegetable mesh, right? The sure. cooked one. And this is the uncooked one. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so you can feel how milky it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs>
That's Today is nice. a milking nice. stage. Anyway, you're invited then, guys. <laughs> mm. I'm just tasting for so, you. So, this, this, I, I, I always say the variety that we eat.